Hey, it's cool here. If you don't know, and it is time for more of the long run where we are playing Lunar Silver Star Harmony. Last time we um, managed to complete two of the Dragon Trials. Uh, we're up to three now. And uh, now hopefully we can get to the last dragon while it is still possible to complete the trial because, you know, the Vile Tribe are doing whatever they can to prevent the awakening of the next Dragon Master. Also, after, um, after last week's session, I might have uh, slightly done a bit of grinding, as you can see by the money. There's also been a few levels up uh, among the party, like one or two per party member. But the main thing was the money, and that's uh, mainly so that we can... Oh, wrong page. So that we can head back over to Moribia and buy the things that... Um, that Ramus has on offer. We still had some time before they became a, before they became unobtainable, but you know, may as well just get that sorted out. And now we get to buy the Reminiscer, as well as the three bromides. And if we talk to uh, Remus again here, I think... Yeah, he's not selling us anything anymore. But there, uh, as I think I've mentioned before, there is a bug in the game that if you buy the three bromides, um, that's what triggers uh, Remus to, you know, say that extra line whether or not you bought the Reminiscer uh, in order to bring the uh, shop back up again you have to sell one of your bromides at a different shop because you can't access that shop anymore anyway let's check out our bromides Zenobia oh my with her Pack of snow leopards, I guess. Beisha. Riding on her Articuno, I guess? And Royce, a poisonous beauty. Oh my. I can I can see where they got that line from. Uh, also, uh, since I'm here, the reminiscer lets you see any cutscenes that you have already seen before. So we have a few cutscenes left to uh, to discover, but this also kind of gives us an idea of where we are in the game. And I would say that we're probably about halfway, considering we put this uh, blue dragon helmet right in the middle here. We'll pass halfway. I would say probably another three sessions will probably be done. Also, I will use um, the, the Reminiscer for a side video that will be on the VOD channel um, once I have all the cutscenes that I want for that. You'll know, you'll know it when you know it. Um, I think that's it. Uh, so let's go ahead and use Dragon Wings. And head back to... Uh, was it Lighten? I think it was. Hey, a really good place to um, to grind for money, by the way, is the uh, Cave of Trial at Vane. There is an enemy there that will... Uh, well, there's an encounter there that will drop uh, over 2,000 silver.
Provided that no enemies run away, because they do. Anyway, off to Tamer Pass. I'm getting even more Starlights. Definitely a fan of Starlights. Danger ahead, turn back. No! Only farming money in real life was so easy, yeah, no kidding. Mm. Loving that triple attack. Nash and Mia doing most of the work there. And Alex levels up. Danger, falling rocks. Oh no, sky cabbages! Angel's tear, all good. Not that we've been using a whole lot of angel's tears, but never know when they'll be uh, coming in handy. Oh. And Jessica continues to be the most kick-ass healer. And gets a level up. As well as Mia, whose range increases. And Kyle. Treasure ahead. Oh boy. I want my treasure. There's no treasure ahead, is there? Go to bed. You too, Kyle. Take a nap. No? Okay. I'm okay with that, actually. Oh, that's a weakness. Up, Alex. Secret passage. Oh. Well, that's cool. It, there definitely was a secret passage there. Oh. Insane Helmet. Ah, uh, whose is that? Looks like that belongs to Kyle. I mean, yeah, I believe it. Something called Insane Helmet. Definitely appreciate when uh, when an ally with multiple attacks st 
still has enough range to uh, run over to a second enemy. Nash levels up. Is that everyone? Yep, le everyone level 30. Yeah. On my way! Later, nerd! Oh! Secret passage. Where? Oh dear. I actually remembered the elbow contrast filter for uh, Electro Shower. Fire coming in clutch for this area. I was wondering there for a second, it said there's still two shriekers, but I wasn't seeing uh, the one behind uh, behind Alex and uh, Jessica there. Now Jessica. Healing a uh, healing cost DPS. Nal can take care of it at the end of the fight. There is no getting around this guy. I know that Flame Blast is um, is a weakness, but probably don't hit the one that's already almost dead. Opting for a physical attack. Healing herb. Um. Yep, falling rocks. There still are falling rocks, apparently. Not that I've seen any so far, but. If I haven't seen them, doesn't mean they're not there. Shiro's tail. Um, I will definitely say... Um, Shiro's tail, I have enough of them now. Oh, I have... I had Shiro's tail. Now I have Shiro's tail, which... Uh, range of movement off. Hmm. Good to know.
have to wonder though, up by how much? Oh, Mia dear. Again, please hit the one that's not almost dead. He had four options. And this should do it. In this box, the Gale Staff. That might be a Mia thing? Yes. She does lose 10 wisdom, but she gains 20 agility and 6 strength. Hmm. You know what? Sure. I'm wondering if there is a secret passage that goes further east? Hmm. Time to go fly swatting. I want to say we're doing pretty good on gear, because uh, well, we've taken a few hits and uh, everyone seems to be in pretty good condition. Wham! Let's mace the crap out of one of these wasps. We're not doing as much of a number on them, but uh, still not bad. While running out of range. Unfortunately putting him in any position to get poisoned. Nash is starting to run a little low on MP. Mia attempting to uh, get in a physical attack for some reason. Uh-oh. Zenobia, you filthy wench. Come here and let me wrap your hand uh, wrap my hands around your scrawny neck. <laughs> the only con the, the only physical contact you'll have with me, little man, is when I stomp on the head of your cold rotting corpse. Your search for the black dragon is here, Alex. As does your pathetic attempt to become a dragon master. Come forth, my minions. I think one of them is slightly broken. All right. Um. Oh, we got a couple of uh, dragon attacks here. Dragon Guard, Dragon Wrath, Incinerate Your Flames, Dragon Healing. All allies restore HP to maximum cost 40 MP. And these are expensive. Anyway, for now, let's charge up. 
Uh, we can hit everyone with Riot. I'd rather use that than the Electro Shower, honestly. Banish the new drive away enemy. I'm gonna use Iris Sludge on the guy in the back there. Uh, go with Mist Barrier. Uh, you're gonna power up. Now that didn't do a whole lot to the guy in the back, which uh, I'm guessing that aside from being the one who goes everyone attack and turning turning it into a Baldwin Blitz, it's probably a magic dude. These guys are not very good at their job. Here comes the Iris Ledge. And... Wham! 430, nice. Oh, just takes him right out. Maybe I'll hold off on using anyone else's supers here. As it is, these guys are in um, perfect position for an explosive stab. A riot. Uh, you just do whatever. Um, flame circle and the power sweep. There goes one of them. I think that might finish the fight. Yeah. I guess using those uh, those supers were not was not really what I needed to do, but especially since we got money for this fight, this is this wasn't a real boss, guys. We got money. Spent two supers on a regular fight. This is your final hour, Zenobia. I'll never forgive you for what you did to my father. And don't bother begging for mercy because you'll get none. <laughs> the thought of me begging for forgiveness from an inept priestess such as yourself don't make me laugh. The vile tribe will stomp all over your tattered remains before that day ever comes. Are we doing this again? Okay, we're doing this again with... Well, there are definitely some more enemies here, but, you know... Not a whole lot is going to change, I don't think. But maybe I will go ahead and use everyone else's supers. Just for good measure. Um, do I have an all enemies? Ally area. Ally area? I guess uh, around herself. And, uh... Hey, Terry, how you doing? I think they would pick a better name for themselves. You're you're not wrong. It's it's not uh, it's not exactly a very flattering name. Pardon me? The shield guy has just ignored that attack. We'll try to ignore this. Yeah, I didn't think so. Ha! Ah. Thank you. 
Wow, that was a weakness if ever I've ever seen one. Did they even get a turn? I don't think they got a turn. Are we going again? We can't keep this up much longer, Jess. No matter how many we kill, they just keep coming. One more round and that little worry will no longer be a relevant concern. <laughs> hey, what's going on? What is the meaning of this? <sighs> Enjoy what little remains of your life, Alex, for it won't be spared next time. Who in Athena's name is that? It's like a grown-up version of Alex and Luna, almost. Wait, is this a time paradox? They hit a vile tribe with their arrows from that great a distance? Can of you realize how incredible that is? But who are they? And why did they leave without saying a word to us? Well, I'm sure we'll never see them again. Tamra just ahead. How do you do and how are you? Okay. I mean, I guess that's a very greeter thing to say. Is it really that wonderful? We, we definitely had some trials uh, getting up to here, and I'm not even talking about the Dragon Trials. I mean, uh, as someone who grew up in a very middle-of-nowhere town, um, pretty much the only thing that's gonna keep anyone going is how much alcohol there is available. <laughs> You've never been able to use the words one and beer in the same sentence. Excellent. equipment shop. We already got the dragon armlet. So we got uh, something for everyone here. Now if I can just keep that all straight in my head, which I definitely won't. Well, one thing's for sure, I'm, oh, well, I'm reasonably sure that the dragon equipment is the, um, the highest level equipment for, uh, for our party here, uh, for all for Alex. Wait. So what is the thing for you? Contra Road. Is there another thing? Listen, I have a really bad memory. I apologize. Oh. Radiant Scarment.
He didn't also have a weapon, because yeah, you just got the Gale Staff. I, I don't know why I, they, they wouldn't put another upgrade for uh, for Mia so close to just having gotten one. Put one up for you. Could, I could have sworn you had two things. Maybe not. Well, whatever. I don't think this is a Walmart. I mean, I've, I've, uh, I will be honest. I've never seen a Walmart on Lunar before, so. And uh, we're about good on everything here. Enjoy your non-refundable purchases. This can't be Fantasy Walmart. Is it evil and sells things? It's a Walmart. Harsh words against your own progeny. And they can't go here. Yes. Um. Is shoes a an equipment slot? No, it's not. Yep, same pair of shoes the entire time. You think? I mean, if you're if you're gonna complain about the vile tribe, maybe try not living so close to the frontier. Oh, you're you're one of those um, quacks. I see. Yeah, you you don't say it at all. I have one question. How well do you sing? Because if it's if it's well, then um, you you may want to uh, to watch out for that uh, that there vile tribe. The Lost Woods. Also, way to way to go somewhere on a date and nearly get lost forever. Seems like a real bad idea. Uh, we have just enough money for both of these. Judgment Mace, and the Wind Sword, which also boosts agility and blows enemies away. So like, is there a chance that uh, an enemy will just be removed from the playfield? Well, from the battlefield?
So yeah, we have 3,200 silver left. Turns out I, I did exactly the correct amount of uh, grinding. This one over here is called Might's Tower. Oh, hey, like ya. Well met, children. Long time no see. Laika, what are you doing all the way out here? <laughs> Why the look of surprise, my faux feline friend? You should know now that I'm. You should know by now that I'm a lone wolf, doll. I travel wherever the wind and my will beckon. But enough about me. How have you fared in my in your adventure, my friends? Check it out, Laika. Alex got the blue dragon helmet. Ah, you met the blue dragon. Impressive, Alex. I expected no less of you. All that remains uh, for you now is to meet the black dragon and gain its prize. Once you have accomplished that, you shall achieve what you most desire. You shall become a full-fledged dragon master. The stuff of legends, my boy. The only fly in the ointment is that none of us has a clue about where to look. My mother once told me that the lair of the black dragon was located on the frontier and that it was guarded jealously by the Vile Tribe. She also said that the only way to get there was by flying. I don't know anything about finding the Black Dragon, but I can help you get airborne. There's an old adventurer named Might who lives in, the neck of the, uh, in this neck of the woods. He's a bit strange, but if you ask him, I know he could easily build a flying machine for you. The only problem is that Might isn't really a people person, so you can't all go to see him. One of you will be more than sufficient for this job. So what do you say, Alex? Are you up for a trip to Might's Tower? It sounds exciting, Alex. Are you going with him? Uh, I should probably save before I do that. Wait, did I just say? I just saved over my last session's file, didn't I? Crap. Well, whatever. I'd love to go with, uh, I'd love to go, Laika, uh, sir. <laughs> like is fine, Alex, there's no need to be formal. When you address me like that, I feel like you're about to salute. I just want you to relax and have fun on our journey, okay? I'll stay here and wait for you, for you two to come back. With great news, I hope. See you soon, Alex. Please watch over him, Laika. You must go, Alex. You're the protagonist. Hey, Laika, is it okay if I go with you too? I don't think Might is allergic to cats, so I don't see why not. If you can stand him, he should be able to stand you. So apparently at least Laika's coming with us, and considering that he's level 99. Forms. Might's tower isn't too far north of this little hovel. It's just the kind of walk to challenge these adventuring bones of mine. <laughs> Good time. Alright, and I think... Oh. We're going the wrong way. I think we're going the wrong way. Uh, so yes, Laika is part of the party. Tell me, is Old Might still alive and well? Or is he giving off a scent of a different kind? Is that you, Laika? Please come in. Might will be very pleased to see you. His pungency rating today is in the red. Oh dear. He's stinky smelly. So here's anyone who, who sees this screen right now is going to remember the absolute pain in the face that this area is in the PlayStation North American version specifically. Intruders go away. Beware of the cranky, stinky, rude genius within. If you're an invited visitor, today's password is 
ring to planet, distant star, brilliant star, lunar crescent. In the PlayStation version, for some reason, they take this out. And so you're expected to either figure it out yourself or go look at a guide somewhere, preferably the strategy guide that Prima is selling. You see what they're doing there? They're forcing you to spend more money. Working designs, fuck you. Uh, okay, so ring planet, distant star, brilliant star, lunar crescent. Ring to planet. Distant star. Brilliant star. Lunar crescent. Now there there is an unworked designs patch that uh, you can apply to the North American version of this game that actually does re-add the um the solution to this puzzle. Pr the power of brute force slash paying for the solution, pretty much. Okay. Um. We'll say having Laika in the party kind of trivializes things a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, I'm actually going to manually input here. Just to make sure that uh, there's like a I'm sorry, what? Maybe it doesn't trivialize it as much as I thought. What the hell was that? Yeah, just impervious to physical attacks. Hey Grim, how you doing? Super RNG, yeah. Okay, I guess we're gonna have to use skills for this. Of which Laika has none. Cool. There we go. Unfortunately, that does mean that, um,. Alex is going to pull ahead in experience here a little bit, but uh, ain't much I can do about that. Alright, let's figure out our path here. I'd like to avoid battles if I can. That's not avoiding battles. Uh, you know what? Pull out of us. Yeah, this area kind of makes me think of, uh, was it, I forget if it's Donkey Kong Country 2 or 3. There, there are definitely some levels, I think it's 3, that uh, happen in large pipes like this.
That's a pretty good range, actually. Yeah, I I thought it was. This is a dead end. I thought it was three because I I remember playing uh, DKC three for uh for Super Shuffle a couple of times and uh, those levels coming up. Looks kind of like a freight elevator, but uh, I guess it must be offline. Probably need to find a switch. Near oh, got caught on the corner because of course it did. Like a just routinely deleting three enemies from the uh, the playfield. I keep saying playfield. It's more of a battlefield. We're not playing here. This is SRSBZS. You know, you know, I'm serious because I said Z instead of being Canadian and saying Z. Yeah. Oh. At level ninety nine, it is a play field. You you got a point there, Grim. I was even holding up and left there. They're just too close to me, I guess. Don't stand. Don't stand so. Don't stand so close to me. Back off, buddy. Probably um, heal up Alex here. And the only way that we're gonna be able to do that right now is with items. Nothing here. Oh, I was talking about finding a switch. Hopefully, that's the switch that I need. Yeah, there we go. Another freight elevator. Another one of these jerks. Yeah. I got a barrier ring. Ah! I assume manual control and immediately sword dance this guy. Oh, and Alex acts first. Ah, uh, he had gone in a different order, he could have got all three.
Ooh, obsidian sword. Uh, does that belong to Alex? Probably. He's the only one here. Also, just so we're clear, um, yeah, I can't affect, uh, I can't affect Lyka's equipment. So I can't just steal his crap. It's over here. If we're lucky, up here is where the switch is. If we're not lucky, I have to go in the other in the other tube. See, it's called the Mazer because it's a laser that comes from a mirror. Never mind that the, um, the L in laser stands for light. Casually double critting there. I mean, magic laser is also plausible. I could have used a healing herb, actually. Thousand monies. And we're in the wrong tube. But at least we got that obsidian sword. That definitely ain't nothing. Dang. Another big encounter. Only hit two of them, unfortunately. I feel like if you had gone for um, the one far left on top, it would have probably hit all three. Not that it really matters, because um, Leica's just going to clear clean up anyway. Ah! I would like to be able to avoid some of these, you know. That was a bizarre attack. Also bizarre, why did you use explosive stab on one enemy. There we go. Got past that one.
And that one, hey. See, it is doable sometimes. Also, these are very inconvenient locations for uh, for levers that control uh, freight elevators. I'm just gonna say that. Oh, nice. Not nice enough, but nice. Oh, is he gonna finish the job? Hey, Alex managed to take one out. And levels up. I would really prefer if he didn't level up so they can, you know, stay on track with the rest of the party, but what are you gonna do? The game is gonna force me to uh, be without my party for uh, for this part of the game. There you go. Sword dance. That's how you do it. Got healing fruit. Oh, got the juke. And I think we made it. So basically, I just take the uh, take the kitty slide down. Anyway, who might you be? なんじゃお前たちが。いかにもわしがこの世界で一番の発明家であるマイトファーンじゃが、それがどうしたと言うんじゃ。わしは騒がしいのが大嫌いなんじゃ。どっとどう、後ろ。Also the um the working designs version needlessly adds a fart to the end of that. <laughs> it's good to see you haven't changed, mate. At least it smells like you're eating better these days. Eh, what do you care? You only want here because you want something, so out with it. Who's a little bruh? This is my friend Alex. He's looking for the Black Dragon. And when he finds him, he'll become the next Dragon Master. But his real quest is to travel to the frontier, uh, to the frontier and rescue a girl from the Magic Emperor. Frontier? Eh, now I get it. You want me to build this kid an airship, right? Right. You know how, how you know Alex can't get to the frontier without it. Alex needs your help, right? And so do I. You know I'll beg if I have to. Nah, preserve what little dignity you have. I'll build your damn airship. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't changed a bit, my friend. Thank you, mate. Now you have a way to reach the frontier, Alex. Which brings you back to the issue at hand. How to go about finding the Black Dragon. I think it's best that you return to Temur and begin gathering information about its whereabouts. 
I've heard rumors they can be found on the prairie to the south of Tamar. How do you always know so much about everything? <laughs> You're quite the inquisitive little one, aren't you? We, we, we asked you a question, sir. Can you please answer? I guess not. Uh, I mean, depends on who you ask, I guess. Anyway, I'm just going to barge into your room for a second. Don't mind me. But this is absolutely not your room. This is just the top of the tower. I guess this is your room. Where do you sleep? This? Is this your bed? This doesn't look like a very good bed. Well, whatever. Let's let's uh head head back out of here. Yeah, he certainly is. I I don't know that he has a liking to me. It seems more like he likes Laika. It to be somebody he doesn't like. Listen, as a person with autism, I absolutely understand the plight of might. Although I do try to do my best to not be stinky smelly. Um, All right, let's uh, reassemble with our party here. Wait, where are they? Maybe they're at the bar. Yeah, sure enough. Welcome back, Alex. We're all ready to leave, but there's a problem. We can't find Nash. I wonder where he went. Hey Alex, oh, I told you to take your time. <laughs> Just kidding, buddy, let's go. Oh, I can smell Kyle's beer breath from the other side of the bar. Hey Alex, any good news, huh? Huh? Wow, Jessica's totally hammered. How Kyle manage that? I'm not drunk, I only had a sip. Oh, I had a few sips, uh, five or six mugs, but I'm fine. Jamie, old man, right? Yep, he didn't exactly had have the freshest of personal sense, but he promised to make an airship for us, right, Alex? If it's anything like the one Shira built. We might not want to keep him keep. Uh, we might not want him to keep that promise. Bad at work sometimes. He seemed pretty confident that it would work, Jessica. I apologize, Alex. I returned here as fast as I could. So how'd it go with Mike? What the hell? You left your your sulkier than a three-year-old. <gasps> but now you're smiling so wide the top of your head is about to fall off. You're a weirdo. Uh, well, anyway, something's going on in, in the town square. Men and a woman seem to be uh, seem to be having an extreme disagreement with another man. Alex, I don't want. I don't know if we should get involved in some kick you like that. I mean, I don't think they're doing anything particularly um, questionable outside. I'm sure it's fine. Can't breathe. Oh, please help me. No. 
Your crime des deserves only a painful death. It is a law. It is the law of the prairie. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, please. Oh dear. Alex, they're hanging that poor guy. He's probably getting what he's in. Screw him. No, oh, we we're helping this guy. Stop this! No, help! Come back here. Stop. It. It's you. Oreno na wa Temujin. Koitsu wa Oreno na Piria da. Ano otoko wa nise gusuri ore tachi ni uro toshita. Kane no tame ni uso tsui tanda. Uso tsuki wa koros. Sore ga sougen no okite da. Nano ni naze omae wa jama o suru. Omae mo uso tsuki no nakama ka. No, nah, really, it's more that we shot first and asked questions later. Well, actually, we didn't really get the chance to ask questions because this just kind of started. This man's a crook and deserves to be punished. If you're siding with him, then what does that make you? This isn't the prairie. The laws of Temur are different. And they don't allow you to hang a man until he's been proven guilty of a crime. You fought the vile tribe at Temur Pass. You know our cause is just. I must know why you took it upon yourself to interfere. Are you not a warrior? I've never met a warrior who permits a liar to go unpunished. There can be only one explanation. You must be a coward. Alex is no coward. Well then this is the time to prove he is of the warrior class. A true warrior would never decline a challenge from another warrior. So I challenge you now. What? You shall quickly learn what, if you are what you purport to be. If you defeat me, I shall pledge my allegiance to your cause. But if you fall before me, your public humiliation will be known to all. We'll make certain of that. I don't think we can talk our way out of this, Alex. I wouldn't want to anyway. I must know your name before we... Nal just said it, you bupkis. I'm Alex. Well then, Alex, the, the time is at hand to prove the worth of your way. I expect a hard fight, no less. To arms, then. Ah, we're having a duel, are we? Well, good thing that I saved. Alright, multiple attacks, good to know. We're still good, so I'll follow that up with a sword dance, although it looks like he's channeling a spell. So maybe I should have defended. Flash arrow. Ooh. That's a little spicy. Should still be good though, because he's not channeling again. <laughs> Every day I learn of new kinks I'm not interested in. That was a crit. Well, that sucked. Alex, it was apparent to me that you weren't using all of your strength. You insult me. Prove to me that you're a true warrior. Do not hide your true skill. Okay, so that wasn't a game over. And I feel like we weren't really humiliated that badly, quite frankly. Let's try this again. Yeah, I, I didn't uh, take into account that uh, this guy might crit.
Yeah, he's channeling, so let's go ahead and defend. I did substantially less damage. I could risk it, but we saw what happened last time. He casts a very shiny arrow. And of course, this time he doesn't crit. Oh, I didn't catch that he was doing Flash Arrow. Well, poo. There we go. And we learn nothing and we're still hungry. I am honestly surprised that gave us absolutely nothing. Your skill is impressive, Alex. It appears you do know the way of the warrior. I apologize for doubting you. Whenever I can be of assistance, I shall gladly lend a hand to your cause. I still can't believe you bested Tempest. It's alright, Fresca. The fight was fair and the victory was Alex's. Hardly. Tempest, you're exhausted. We've been riding for three days. Holy chaps, he's this strong after three days and nights of travel? That's incredible. Alex, we have come here in search of the songstress from our tribe. She was kidnapped by the by the Vile Tribe five moons past. We have been traveling without rest in hopes of, of finding her kidnappers. We're looking for our friend Luna. They kidnapped her too. Hmm, I see. It appears our purpose is the same then. But maybe we could have come to this understanding in the first place. Here, Alex, take this with you. Tempest Memento. Tempest, are you... I have already decided, Fresca. I understand. This amulet was bestowed upon me by the elders of our tribe. It is a symbol of bravery, bravery beyond what most men are capable of. I pray that it brings you luck in your search as well. Tempest, I can't accept such an important... Farewell, Alex. We can discuss it when next our paths cross. Farewell, warrior Alex. That was intense, Alex. I was a little, uh, anxious during the battle. What did it give you, huh? What is it, now? This necklace. It kind of looks like a dragon, doesn't it? Let me take a look. Don't touch that, Kyle. Your hands are filthy. All's right. It's some relief carving of a dragon. Perhaps that barbarian, the, uh, I mean, warrior of the prairie, and help us find the lair of the Black Dragon. Let's catch up with him, Alex. Tempest said he'd help us. Uh, let's take a closer look at that. There it is. Okay, so it looks to just be a um, uh, key item. Uh, looking at the guide here, this is the point where if you haven't bought the Reminiscer and the Bromides, you have to do it now. Otherwise, uh, they become unobtainable. We have done this, so, um, on we go. The way dragons look something most people don't know. I mean... I can imagine that most people have never personally seen a dragon. Like, at most it would be like, 
in a book or something. And Dangway, how if we go to the Lost Woods? Alex, this must be the Lost Woods. Did anyone else get goosebumps the moment that we entered? Yes, and I felt something else. I want to say it's magical, but I believe it's something else. You got all bumpy because you're traveling with our living legend, sweet cheeks. The creepy trees and wacko background only enhances my natural good looks. Let's keep moving, kitties. I really don't think that said Kyle. Look, Alex, it's a clearing in the middle of the woods. I bet the people of Pow cleaned up this area so travelers could camp here. Come on, Kyle, why would they do that? If anyone knows about sleeping outdoors is Kyle, so let's take a break. And I don't really see how to take a break. And that's something that has a carving of a dragon. They assume they must know how to find the black dragon. Yeah. That has a poster of Cthulhu. He must be part of a cult trying to wake up the old ones. I mean, there's a difference between a poster and something that could actually be a relic that is used to, um, to, like, summon the thing. Oh, hey. Hmm. Nope. That ain't it. These things are kind of tough. You know what? Sure, just keep paralyzing the one that's already paralyzed. That's fine. Also, bunch up like that so that I can all hit you with the same attack. Electro showers in one fight. Two thousand experience points. Nice. So light, I believe, is the more powerful starlight. Cheer's tail, which I already have five of. Now I have six. I have one for every member of the party and then one more on top of that. Ooh. That is a beefy hit. Maybe it's uh, the whole wind sword thing. Well, could have got two hits in there, but um, 
she decided to uh, to crit right then and knock back the enemy. That is kind of lame though, where like, if you run out of range, then critting is actually a bad thing. Oh, just ran right by him. Cascabel hairpin. Okay, that goes to you. Echoed Tintinabulations. That that's your word for today. That's that's your vocabulary word for today. Tintinabulations. Which I feel just means that uh, this hairpin is like putting wind chimes in your hair. I can feel it in my gut. The exit's closed, but there's nothing here. And again, maybe it's just gas from last night's fiber here surprise. Where else? Dang. Well, that was rude. Just stared at Nash so hard that he got poisoned. Yeah, that's not gonna work so well doing that on Jess. Yeah, the stuff in in, uh, in this area really isn't going down all that well. A delicate. Oh jeez. Insane shield. Which I'm guessing belongs to the person with the insane helmet. Defense for the demented. Helmet for the unhinged. And some of these uh some of these descriptions are great, actually. I, I think we need Alex to perform one of those uh, miraculous triple kills. I don't know if it's gonna happen though. Pretty much depends on exactly how much HP these guys have left, as well as whether Al Alex uh, gets to go first. Which he often does, but not this time.
Yep, rather it's me I was gonna finish the job. And Jess levels up. And learns Charity Litany. Mia levels up. Kaya levels up. And gets a third attack, I just noticed that. Um, let's check out what Charity Litany does. One ally, restore all HP. It's basically heal Litany overpowered. Which seems to do the job just fine on its own. Gets a third attack, but uh, is out of range to actually use it. And Nash levels up. If we couldn't find the exit in the daytime, there's no way we can find it in the dark. You got a point there, Jess. Why don't we set up camp at, uh, for the night back at that clearing? I agree. I'm starting to feel a little tired myself. Could you yell a little louder? Perhaps the monsters didn't hear you. Alex, let's go back to the campsite, please. Nash? Yeah, and sure enough... There is nothing we can do in that, uh, in that place. You know, you could use Riot and hit everyone just fine, right? I will always continue to marvel when, whenever uh, Nash and Mia decide to do physical attacks. Especially, like, Mia tends to do that, like, out of range. You know what the deal is with that. Oh, hey, we're back here. What do you say, Alex? Are you ready to rest? Ah, uh, yeah. I've been thinking. I'm convinced that magic is being used to conceal the exit. Between Alex and Kyle, we should have we should have been able to find our way through. I agree. There's magic in these woods. The air seems to be thick with it. And on that, on that, ah, and on that pleasant note, let's get some sleep and start again tomorrow.
Kyle. You, the blue star looks beautiful tonight, doesn't it? Been thinking, Kyle, about you, about us. And what I think is that we should give it enough. Kyle? This my lucky to drop off to sleep before I get the words right in my head. Oh well, rest up, my ignorant knight. Flop. Brave Lord Duck. Give me bag. Uh, yeah. Ever since I was a boy living in the country, I dreamed of being a part of the Magic Guild. Imagine how proud my parents would be if I had made it as one of the elite there. I'm sure it's difficult for you to, to imagine how I feel, Mia. Right now, my pride is the only thing I've got left to hold on to. And though I'm not sure when I began thinking this way, in my mind, you've become the embodiment of the Magic Guild itself. This it is my sworn duty to protect you, no matter what happens. I promise I'll live up to that. Duna. No one keeping watch, DPK incoming. Yeah, I was kind of thinking that too. Probably good idea if um, someone keeps watch. Ah, uh, no, you can never have enough fish. Was it just a dream? <coughs> Excuse me. Who's there? What's wrong, Alex? Alex, what's the matter? Okay, okay, I'm up. Where's breakfast? Kyle's still absolutely calmed. Why have you trespassed within these sacred woods of the Prairie Tribe? Identify yourselves at once. My name is Alex. My friends and I are looking for a man by the name of Tempest. Tempest? How dare you use the name of our chief to aid your deception? Wait. What's that? The necklace you possess is the Black Dragon Pendant. If our leader entrusted you with it, then he obviously considers you his friends, which makes you the friends of the entire Prairie Tribe. Please, allow us to escort you to our village. Jeez. Just when I was looking forward to a good fight. Kyle, weren't you sleeping? <laughs> Not at all, just trying to surprise them. Not really, a, I'm really not as ignorant as you think I am, Jess. No, hey, just one more fish. Get up for a ball. Please, follow us everyone, the exit's nearby. Hear our words, spirits of the forest. Hear the words of the prairie tribe. Remove from us that which shields the true path from our sight. So that incantation is the, is the key to unlocking the exit. You shall not need to call out the, to the spirits a second time. Once you see the way, you cannot lose it. Uh, let's just follow them in case they're wrong. Uh, there's a box there. I want it. That's kind of an inconvenient arrangement of enemies.
Trying to get, uh, continuing to try to get around our adversaries. Like I like to say in French, and I don't remember where I picked this up, before Il faut adversaire. You must outplay your adversaries. See, that, that is an advantage of using uh, auto control. As I know I've mentioned it before, but auto control does have uh, that uh, advantage where the uh, character in question will decide what they're doing on their turn rather than at the start of the turn. So it's a bit hacky in that regard, but yeah. That's how the game is programmed. And I end up fighting all three of these jerks. We've been ambushed by ambushes. I think that might be the first time that uh, Kyle managed to get his third attack in. Hey J-Pop, thank you for the Prime resubscription. Attack anything with a Prime number. Alright then, I won't attack you because you've been subscribed for 20 months and that is definitely not Prime. Even, even if it is a Prime resub, it's not a Prime number is what I'm saying. Math, you know. Pleiades Bangle. Um, so who does that belong to? Oh, that belongs to Nash, but he already has one. All right. More than two factors, cause, well, yeah, it is more than two factors. It's one, two, four, five, and ten, and twenty. It looks like uh, our only option here is pow. Pow wow wow yippee yo yippee yeah. I attacked J-pop with the rocks I found. Thank you for the 100 bits, Grim. A disease, huh? Damn. Yeah, you're, you're not wrong, honestly, Kyle. Yes, we've already been over this. We, we literally were told that uh, the uh, leader of this tribe is Tempest. I just throw stones too and my teammates to my teammates still level them up. Let he let he who is without levels cast the first stone, I guess. Tempest.
Alex, welcome to Pow, the home of the Prairie Tribe. You're the first person to make us feel welcome. We noticed that the necklace you gave Alex was a carving of the Black Dragon. We're looking for the dragon, but we're wondering if you know where it is. Indeed. The Black Dragon Fort is considered sacred, and protecting it is the sworn duty of our people. I can't keep something this important to you, Tempest. Alex, I gave you the, this necklace out of respect and gratitude. Why won't you accept it? We don't mean any disrespect. We just think that you're going to need it more than we do. I will not take back your gift, but I will hold on for, uh, onto it for you. Is that a fair compromise? I'm glad you came here, Alex. I enjoy your company and that of your friends as well. But you should go, for Pow, uh, for Pow is in the grip of great evil. This is the voice of the Dark Songstress, the, vo the woman whose voice has unleashed a plague. Alex, this voice... can't be. Kyle, I don't feel so good. Very funny, Jess. You'd better get up before I decide to tickle you to death. Jess? Jess? Uh, Mia! I'm sorry, Alex. This is just as I feared. Yeah, your friends have been afflicted as well. Fresca's been searching for the source of the songs. Once we find it, we'll silence the songs just forever. I found her, Tempest. The songs are coming from inside the Black Dragon Fort. I knew you'd find her. Fresca. Are you... Fresca, no! <sighs> Be strong, Fresca. I shall find the Dark Songstress and snap her cursed neck. Tempest, wait up! Tempest is very strong, but not strong enough to defeat the monsters inside the fort. Please tell the Elder what has happened. Tell Tempest. Help, my dear. Once my son sends his mind to something, nothing will change it. All I can do is pray for his safety. I will take care of your friends. And you take care of Tempest. Be careful, everyone. This is no ordinary... No. Don't speak, Mia. Go to sleep and let us find the songstress. Nash, you be careful, too. There is tremendous power in that voice. That song, I know I've heard it at Athena Shrine, but who is using it for evil? Stop playing detective, Jess. Just be quiet and get better. <laughs> Thank you, Kyle. Alex, Tempest is in danger. Hurry to the fort of the Elder. Grant you permission. Enter the shrine. Keep singing. Uh, uh. It's definitely not east of the shrine. Didn't you just not say it was east of the shrine? I'm confused. Yeah, I am also confused at the fact that you're using negatives in very weird places. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I wonder what sword you're talking about, you friggin' turbo. And dang way. Two of our friends have been incapacitated by a song of darkness. And so it's up to us three, and probably also Tempest, to go to the Black Dragon Shrine and um, stop this dark songstress. 
And I, I mean, while we're there, probably also take care of the Black Dragon's trial and finally have the way clear to us to become the next Dragon Master. But we will be doing so after the break. So y'all can take a moment. I forgot to... I'm sure that I turned that off. Oh, whatever. Um, so y'all can uh, go get... Uh, Get some to drink, go to the bathroom if you need to, stretch your arms, stretch your teeth, stretch your legs, stretch your teeth. Eventually I'll get the order of that right. I guess my brain is having the dumb today. Anyway, uh, in, ten, in about 10 to 15 minutes, we shall continue on this adventure and um, hopefully get to the bottom of the whole dark songstress thing. So, I'll see you in a bit.